graph f of x equals the quantity x minus 1 cubed plus 2. Solution. So we're going to use uh, what's called translations to graph this function. So when you see something like this, when you see the 3, you want to think about the graph of y equals x cubed. That's the parent function or the core function or the mother function. Um, this is the one we're going to be shifting. So this graph is really tough to draw, at least for me. It looks like this. It comes down from the bottom. And then at 0, it actually flattens out. So it's actually horizontal just at 0. So really hard to draw. That's the graph of x cubed. So just as a recap, in case you've never seen this, so if you had something like x cubed and then you had the plus 1 on the outside, uh, you would go up by 1. If you had something like x cubed minus 1 and you had the minus 1 on the outside, you would go down by 1. And if you had something like x plus 1 quantity cubed, so in this case the 1 uh, is next to the x, it's backwards. You think it's right, but no, no, it's, it's actually left. So left 1. And if you had something like x minus 1 cubed, and the negative is next to the x like this, you're subtracting from the x, you think it's left, but no, no, it's actually right. So whenever it's outside of the function, it's just up if it's positive, down if it's negative. And when you're adding and subtracting to the x value, it's always backwards. So in this particular example, we're subtracting 1 from the x, as you can see here. So uh, we think it's left, but no, no, it's right, right? It's backwards. And then we're adding 2 to the entire function. So we're going to go up by 2. All right, so to graph this, we'll draw the y-axis, and then we draw the x-axis. So there's, there's x, and there's y. Okay, and we take our, our picture, right, our, our graph here, this green graph over here on the bottom left, and we go right 1 and up 2. So right 1, and then up 2, and then I'm going to put a dot. That's where we're moving this, this blue dot here is now here. And now we're just supposed to draw the graph. However, this is probably going to cross the x and maybe y axes. So let's go ahead and find the intercepts before we draw the graph. So to find the y-intercept, that one's pretty easy. We just plug in 0 for x, always, no matter what. So f of 0 is equal to parentheses 0 minus 1 cubed plus 2. So this is equal to minus 1 cubed plus 2. So when you have minus 1 cubed, you get minus 1. So minus 1 plus 2 is just, is just 1. Right? That's just 1. That's just 1. So the y-intercept is 0, 1. That's the y-intercept. Okay, that'll be our y-intercept. To find the x-intercepts, we take the entire function and we set it um, equal to 0. Right? So let's do that. So to find the x-intercepts, we take the entire function and set it equal to 0. So we have x minus 1 cubed plus 2 equals 0. And then we have to subtract the 2, so we get x minus 1 cubed equals negative 2. Now to get rid of the 3, we'll take the cube root of both sides. So we get x minus 1 equals the cube root of negative 2. And then to finish, we would just add 1. So we end up with x equals 1 plus the cube root of negative 2. So what is this number? Um, it's it's going to be a really small number. Let me, let me type it into my calculator. I haven't done this problem. 1 plus, and then it's the cube root of negative 2. So my calculator, what I do is I write the cube root as the 1 third power. Yeah, it's like negative 0.26. It's super small. So approximately negative 0.26 via a calculator. Okay. So there's one x-intercept, it's like right um, here. So this is negative 1, so this would be negative 1.26. Like, it's rough, that's a rough, rough, rough estimate. And the y-intercept is 0, 1, so maybe it's here. Okay. And so now we're supposed to draw our graph. So let's do that carefully, carefully. It has to have this shape. Okay. So maybe it looks something like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good picture. So. There's our middle piece, that's this blue dot here. We changed the color, so this red dot, that was this dot here. And then here is the y-intercept, and here is the x-intercept. So a little bit of work to graph these. Uh, the shape is a little bit uh, challenging to draw. That's it.